fancy beauty symbols it's your girl gina coming back up in here with another video it's another diy so we starting off with a carton that i had from the movies and it was a popcorn container so all i did is spray painted it as usual right let it dry for a couple hours these are the things that you'll need. You'll need the sponge on the handle, the Mod Podge, and of course your glitter, honey. So we're gonna start off with one layer of Mod Podge, and we're just gonna go ahead and brush that right on to the container, okay? Once you have this on, I did go ahead and put another coat of it on just because I want to make sure that that glitter is going to stick as good as it can with the first go around. Then I went in with the fun part, which is to sprinkle the glitter everywhere on the consignment, honey. And you can use any color you want. You know, when you guys see the reveal, gonna know why I chose all silver and did all DIYs in silver and bling bling baby so we're going for a glam look and I'm really hoping you guys are gonna be proud of me when you see it so then you just go ahead and shake off the excess glitter and then just continue to repeat the same steps and what I did is I switched out my papers as you can see here just so I wouldn't waste as much product or make a big mess <laughs> so here you'll see me I'm just doing the same thing and I'm just gonna do it in real time right here and then later on you'll see I'll just go ahead and speed it up and play some nice little music so you guys can enjoy watching the video this was my first time using you know mosh posh or anything like that so I just kind of went with my instincts and it turned out pretty good I have to say so myself Alright guys, and here you are. This is the final 
product and I'm so pleased with it. I am gonna go ahead and put another coat of this on, another coat of the Mod Podge that is. I'm gonna put that on there. That's gonna seal in that first application of glitter. And then I'll put another layer of glitter and then another layer of Mod Podge. So in other words, I'm gonna finish up the whole process with the Mod Podge. And that's gonna keep the glitter from getting all over the place in your space where you're gonna put it up in. And then I'm gonna put a piece under the bottom of that and just to complete everything. That's it. Pretty. Now, this next one, <laughs> you guys are gonna be like, Gina, what the heck is wrong with you? Just leave the drugs alone. But everything had to surround this entertainment center and it was a dark brown, almost black color, as you can see here. So I've already put some of the gift wrap paper on and now you're gonna see me go through and kind of show you what I went through to get this on. And it was at times really challenging to get this on here and to figure out, okay, do I need to cut a piece here? Or do I need to cut a piece there? So I really did just go in and freestyle this project right here. And I have to say it came out really, really pretty. There's some finishing touches that I need to do. I want to get some of that clear border or either just go in and put some hot glue on the pieces that I need to make sure that they're real secure, like around the door and around the this area, the, the uh, where you open the door. Jeez, I can't speak right now. But yeah, so just some... Um, kind of get you some popcorn or snack or something and just sit back and, and watch. I didn't do the whole process. I didn't videotape the whole process because I think that would make the video super duper long. Plus, some of my footage got deleted. I don't know how, but yeah, some of it got deleted. So you will see everything in the end and yeah kind of proud of myself so now I'm looking into seeing if I can just go ahead and get something more permanent in that silver color because that is so pretty look at the pattern on that guys that gift wrap paper is really really pretty and it's sturdy too and I picked that up from TJ Maxx out here in North Carolina and I went back for more and I did not find any so hopefully some more will come out you know around Christmas time or something like that but this was really heavy duty it almost gave you the feel of aluminum foil to be quite honest so here I'm just kind of trying to figure out do I cut it here or what am I going to do? So I figured it out pretty quickly, surprisingly. <laughs> and you guys, I love, sometimes I love to do DIYs in my pajamas and, you know, my hair is up out of the way. So part of my appearance, but sometimes I just like to be as free as possible, as comfortable as possible when I'm doing my DIYs. So Yes, honey, you caught me with jammies on, feet out, everything. So here you'll see me taping it down. And this is the part that I don't like. This is where I'm thinking I want to use the hot glue gun. I thought maybe about the E6000 glue, but yeah, I don't think that would work. I think the hot glue would be better. But I did tape it where it's inconspicuous so you can't see the tape because in some portions I would just roll the tape outside in 
so the sticky part was on the outside and just did it that way so that that would be hidden just to give you guys some ideas if you get crazy enough to try this one <laughs> okay <laughs> but yeah it turned out really nice and uh, you guys make sure you let me know in the comment sections you won't you won't hurt my feelings I promise you won't so just let me know what you think about all the DIYs and then again that tour of how my space looks since everything has been put together as much as I'm gonna do right now and then you guys can really go in on your girl and let me know what you think all right other than that I will see you fancy beauties and bows in the next video this was so awesome I had such a good time doing this and I hope you guys have an awesome time watching it and I will see you soon stay fancy I love you guys Thank you.